but this is it just I, I don't I I hate being accused of being a, of begging because that is the last thing I've ever ever wanted to do and I've, I, to my knowledge I've never done it but still can't get a job um yeah I, I, I don't think that's gonna happen so I thought about doing an OnlyFans how much are we talking about really well to be honest the way things are at the moment and I'm not saying this because I want any attention or anything I am barely making the rent and the bills at the moment um, yeah it is it's it's rough it's really scary at the moment it really is it's very very scary <gasps> oh my commander Keen tipped thank you thank you so much um I mean, I, I, I can survive without an, uh, an, an, ooh. Get, get off. Um, I don't necessarily need a new guitar for Edinburgh and Camden. Um, yes. Command Keen has been unbearably lovely again. That guitar is shit house. Like I made the massive mistake of only being able to buy a guitar that I can afford. It's shit. Um, it cost me 130 pounds new. Uh, it was discounted, but yeah, it's completely shit. Um, so I think, and I'm just gonna have to save up and get something decent. I think, so my favorite guitar to play is definitely the Tanglewood. That's a full size metal string. Um, the Ortega that you guys got me, cause it's a three quarter size, it's much better for streaming. Um, because it's smaller and can be picked up and easily easily moved around and everything but um, in terms of playing it for a performance definitely the Tanglewood I think next time so for now I'll try and work out how to make the electronic pickup work on that and then use that at gigs and I'll just I'll save up for a decent electroacoustic because the, it's just shit the one that I've got like it's embarrassing so um, yeah uh, guitar fund up. To be honest, there's other things <laughs> that need to be paid for before a guitar. Uh, I'll I'll just start trying to put some money away every month. Um, okay. So um, if anyone has any recommendations for a really really nice electroacoustic guitar, that would be really cool. Or I don't know something even just like a normal guitar that I can get pickups for, that would be fine. Um, a full size one with probably. Probably metal strings, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um... Oh, Dingo Pictures Marathon. That's a good fundraising idea. I'm gonna need a couple of hundred for a decent guitar. Just get a job. Hello, yes. I am streaming from yet another episode of Can't I Just Catch a Fucking Break? My washing machine is knackered. You know, the one that my dad brought all the way over to replace the other one that was knackered. Uh, it's flooded the kitchen. I've just been desperately trying to pull it out from the wall so that I can tip it over and work out what the fuck's going on. <clears throat> and uh, pulled a muscle in my arm doing so. So that's nice and fun. Um, do I have a toaster? I do have a toaster, yes. I have, I'll tell you, okay, so I know for a fact Morph Cube and Commander Keen are going to be like, Shh. but um, a while ago the fuse on my kettle broke. So I have been switching the fuse between the plug for the toaster and the kettle for the last few months. And I so thought every time I want to use the toaster, I have to unplug the kettle, jam a, jam a pair of scissors in where the fuse is so I can flick it out and then put it in the toaster. And then when I want a cup of tea in the morning, <laughs> I have to switch it back. Look, I refuse to. You can't buy a single fuse. You've got to buy them in packets. I'm, I refuse to buy a packet of fuses. I, I refuse. I, it's just. Look, it's fine. It's fine. I've got one fuse, and the fuse works for the toaster and the kettle. I just have to switch them over. It's not a problem. Look, fine. I'll buy a. Look, Peter might have some spare fuses. Maybe. And now I don't have enough cameras to even do a sort of ambient rat stream. My camera, my filming camera is shagged. Peter says that I can maybe have his old one. 
it's not the lens that's the problem it's the actual camera itself the, um, one of the batteries leaked and it just completely ruined it inside strawberry house is completely collapsed he's so silly i'm gonna have to put another one on the wish list boys who did this who did this Not acceptable. Boys, I don't think I have another 50 volt adapter, so how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to charge the light? Boys. Come on. Come on. How am I supposed to charge the light? Is it crimes? Is, is it crime time? Is it criminal activity? Is it a knackered light that I need to buy? I need to buy another light. I might have to do a fundraiser for friggin' equipment. This is absolutely shag. Is, is it, is it crimes? Is, oh for Christ's sake, hang on a second. <clears throat> might also have to do a fundraiser for a not knackered camera. Uh, like insomnia was nice but it was mostly just um it was mostly a load of um shops which obviously i can't afford to shop at and um um so disclaimer my laptop is really struggling it's it is really shagged it keeps turning itself off i keep getting blue screen of death um and the usb ports don't work consistently so if i knock anything it disconnects so we're just gonna have to be um I'm just going to have to be as careful as I can be. Um, hello. I don't know what any of that stuff means. I just assume that there is some something, some aspect that is a bit shagged. The fans are working fine, yeah. It's not overheating. It doesn't feel like it's overheating. It's just, it's having a difficult time. Uh, we we all have a difficult time, you know. It's tough. It's it's tough to be a, a laptop in in this modern world. Thank you for the offer. Um, I'm probably gonna get my. I'm probably gonna call my brother and get him to fix it. As you can see, this the audio and my speaking isn't in sync, and it's it's because of the computer. It's just it's just shagged. Um, I'm not in a position to be able to get another one, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it the best that I can. Um, 6502 says it'll be fine as long as they're not rats. I regret to inform you that there will be rats. Compilation kits. This is all so much more work that I already... I already find it really, really difficult to do the work that I already have on. Make a new feature length best sort of archers but we've got some viewer suggestions. That could work. That could work. Hide and go rat, I need to bring that back, yeah. Right. We're gonna play How how many snacks can I eat <clears throat> while being absolutely mugged for them? Let's try that again. Oh, sorry, baby. So entitled. The final answer was one. And here they are with their spoils. Next time I remember to um, button up my shirt. God's sake, I just realized that my, my flies are completely undone. And the, the button unbuttoned. <clears throat> Sorry for being uncouth. 
A gif of Flake reversing, that's a good idea. I know, rude of me, yeah. Is it absolute festivities of crap? Jesus Christ. Sorry, I've got... You know when you've got a bra that's like one of your best ones, it's your good bra, but then it starts to go bad? I'm having a very, very heartbreaking time right now with my tits. It's coconut. You're not allowed to be fleecing my viewers. It's not okay. Oh, Groupie Steen's paying their rent to coconut. No. <laughs> Wow, Rousey also tipped for the washing machine rat upkeep fund. Thank you. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to keep up with the with the donations. You just you're so incredibly lovely. Um, also, Commander Franton tips twenty for um, global chopping fund for lasagna, which is a possibility. Definitely a possibility, isn't it, lasagna? Mm -hmm. I mean, as as it is now, like these rats get such a lovely life from you guys. I assume that was for my fringe fund and not for rent, anonymous donor. You, anonymous. I really hope that you're not getting scammed as well. I really hope that's not the case. Oh, Gaz, Gaz the Kitman tips twenty for the fringe fund. Seriously, thank you so much. And again, thank you. For um for that stream when I was raising money for Spaghetti's vet bills because you paid for his vet bills and also paid for um, Triple C to be put to sleep and cremated, so thank you. So uh, I am streaming to to uh, pay for Spaghetti's vet care. Now I'll be honest with you, it's not looking good. Um, the vet wasn't not an exotics fair because that's like an hour and a half drive away i didn't really want to put him through that but um it it, ba it was ba it basically ended with me basically telling her like what to do um it's just one of those things he is on vitriol and painkiller he doesn't want to eat so i had to force feed it to him which was awful um he is doing things which would suggest a neurological problem however the symptoms do overlap um, with the infection, so I'm just fingers crossed that um, he'll be able to, th that it's just an infection and not a pituitary tumour, because if it is, um, something like that's quite hereditary, which means that his, um, which means tagliatelle, licky and cinnamon will all be uh, liable to get that as well. So it's just a bit of shit. Um, he is currently asleep. I'm gonna need to give him some painkiller um, at some point on the stream. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that on the camera because it's pretty awful to watch. Um, but yeah, if so, I mean the the um, uh, yeah, it's I I I. I am perfectly willing to have him put to sleep if he gets worse, so. Uh, it's just something that I just have to do. I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't, and um, not, not being able to afford it isn't any kind of excuse, even though it's incredibly expensive um, for some reason to put a tiny little animal to sleep. Um, so here I am. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to force myself to try and do some music. I got some peas. Yeah, from, from the way that he's moving, I think it is a neurological thing because he's sort of charging around a little bit, which is what I've seen in rats that do that. Yeah, it's, it really does look like a neurological thing. Just from the way that he's moving and sort of twitching. Oh, fucking hell, Commander Keen. Commander Keen dropped a hundred. Oh, we, we've actually, we've done it, spaghetti. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
Oh, wonderful. No, seriously, guys, that's... That has made me feel a million times better. That has made me feel a million times better. I was horrified at the thought of having to just wait for him to die um, if he doesn't get any better. It's horrendous, horrendous thing to have to think about doing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, and I mean, by that, I do mean that I will, I will take him to the emergency vets if I need to. I will do that. Um, and that will now just about cover it, I think. No, it will cover it. If if I have to take him to the emergency vets to put him to sleep, I will do it. I absolutely will. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, look. Okay, so I, I set up a Kofi because I know people um, don't particularly want to be um, signing up to a Patreon, especially. So uh, let me... What? Hello? Octis.rats on Instagram. And I am just going to absolutely smash rat pictures on it. I'm also going to make a Patreon account just for the rats. Um, and on that account, I will put all of the... Because, I mean, it's... Right. <laughs> the amount of pictures I take of the rats every day and videos and stuff, it's unreasonable. And usually it's my poor friends that have to deal with it. Peter, particularly, has to put up with the bombardment. But um, if you want to see lots of... Uh, pointless videos of rats then I'll, I'll, I'll make a, a patron so that that can be um, done for them um, I thought about um, making an OnlyFans account for them because that I thought that would be better because then the notification because then I work because we're patron to stop everyone from getting bombarded with notifications I'm gonna have to put a lot of stuff in bulk like every day but I think it would make more sense to use patron um, because of the uh, uh, the assumption about OnlyFans. So, um, although of course Coconut is a, a very, very handsome hunk of a man, as you guys know. Um, uh, my activity feed thing is being silly again, so you're going to have to bear with me, but um, I can see there's a hype train starting already. Um, uh, Dr. Keith resubscribed for 31 actual British months, thank you. Uh, the gym also resubscribed, thank you. Commander Keen as well, four and a half British years. Wow, that's insane. Uh, and 100 bits for hello. Michael Oaf resubscribed. Wazak also said hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. I hope you're okay. Um, I am. Uh, am I okay? No, 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 I'm all right. Um, so I am. Um, I think I'm going to have to try and think of another way of raising money for this music venture. I'll just have to think about it really hard. They they have a a couple of... I put in some little whimsy crocodile. I need to put some of them on the Amazon wish list, actually. I've ran out. They're little dog treats in the shape of crocodiles and stuff. Um, and there's always like an absolute bread war situation with them. Yeah, Jessica, it was a little whimsy crocodile. The, the best way to support the rats is through tips. Um, when I'm brave enough, when I feel like I'm not taking the piss, I will put a tip button up on the on the um, on the stream to make it easier. Um, and with bits, I know that Twitch charges you straight away uh, as when you buy the bits. But yeah, it's just this is it's just becoming really a concern. Is the money we got for him for his vet visit still put aside in rat? Yes, it is. I still have that money in the in the rat account, so I can take him back if I need to. But at the moment, I think it's just it's, it's a stroke, so he just needs to be just needs to get through it on his own, really, because there's nothing that they would do apart from say just keep giving him the medicine. So I'm just keeping giving him the medicine. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for being so supportive last night I, I just want to reiterate if 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 i'm in a situation where i can't afford the rats vet bills then yes i will absolutely turn to you guys um because i don't have a choice I, i'm getting nothing from job applications absolutely nothing um i bought i've ordered a new camera i managed to get a cheap one well a cheaper one it's the same model, but it's from CEX, so it's probably gonna smell of weed, but it's quite, it was cheap. Um, and a 
couple of other things. I, I ordered a, a new charger for my robot vacuum so I can actually use that again. <clears throat> Which will be a tenner well spent because that's driving me nuts. <clears throat> yeah, right, no, it's working now, I've got it. Okay, so, um, Jim tipped um, last night saying just seeing if it works as it didn't before and I hope you saw the Amazon voucher so now uh, Jim you sent me on Patreon didn't you you sent a message with an Amazon voucher which was incredibly kind of you um, I haven't even looked at it yet I have severe uh, fear over going on Patreon for some reason although for just one subscription a, subscription a month you can help feed this starving boy oh sorry I didn't stream yesterday I was completely ruined <clears throat> I actually didn't wake up until about six o'clock in the afternoon. Oh my god, he's put his hand- I need to go and get them some pudding. I was supposed to do that today and I completely forgot. I know, I'm sorry, poor, poor men. Poor boys. Poor little men. Again, thank you, Grumpy Steen. Thank you all of you for supporting these rats. Because you do, you do support these rats. And I'm able to give them such a lovely home because of you. I'm g I'm gonna I'm gonna buy p I am I'm gonna buy pudding I am. They they do need it. I'm gonna go and buy a crate of it, which is usually what I do. I end up buying a crate of the uh, of the cartons of it because that's the most cost effective. Thank you very much for all the bits donations and the subscriptions tonight, everyone. You really are wonderful. Uh, Grumpy says poor rats. It's been so long since I've had pudding they've forgotten what it tastes like. How long has it been since you guys have had pudding? About five days they've been without pudding. Don't, none of you lot call animal rescue. None of you lot call the police, all right? Look, they can survive that long without pudding, all right? It's not a problem. They've, they've survived longer without pudding before. Pudding's probably not on the wish list because someone's probably already bought it. I'll put it back on the wish list. Hey baby, little man. But I'll, I'll go and buy some tomorrow. Okay, promise. I should really stop streaming, especially if I need to get up early to take coconut to the vet. Um, yeah, yeah, he's definitely not himself. But uh, like I said, I wouldn't. I don't really want to put him back in the cage tonight because if it is his leg that's the problem, I don't want him climbing up and down. So, um, yeah. Well, um, I the next stream will be. So I can't stream tomorrow. But I will maybe stream on... I don't know if I'll stream on Wednesday or not. I'll have to work it out. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you. If not on Wednesday, then Thursday, obviously. Um, oh, thank you, Commander Keen. Yeah, hopefully hopefully it's just a, a sprain or something. We'll see. Look at this, look at this bruise. I've got, um, I've got an absolute bruise on my head. Because... Um, so I can't afford to see my therapist at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but basically, her dog is completely and unutterably in love with me, and I've not seen him for like five weeks. So she was like, "Look, can do you want to come over? And we won't do therapy. You can just hang out with the dog." Um, and he lost his fucking mind. And um, yeah, I've I've got a bruise, bruise on my forehead, bruise on my my hand, bruises on my arms from this friggin' dog just going madhouse at me. Absolute mentalist. <laughs> he's he's a therapy dog as well, but apparently with me he just loses his shit. Like he just loses it. Um, yeah, it's it's quite something to get absolutely bodied by a Pomeranian mix. Uh, <laughs> that's quite a sentence, isn't it? <laughs> Getting absolutely bodied by a pom mix. Um, but... Hey guys! Is it crimes? Hey buddy! Hey little, little man! Is it crimes? Is it crime time? Come on wakey wakeys! Wake up, come on guys, bills to pay, let's go! Wakey wakey! Come on boys! Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I will be in Edinburgh doing the Edinburgh Fringe show from the fifteenth, uh, Sunday the fifteenth, and the final show will be on the twenty fifth, which is the following Sunday. Now, in terms of how I'm going to fund it, 
Uh, so here's his an amazing thing. You know Pushing of Roses? She sent me uh, a good chunk and said, if you want to use this toward fringe or a new guitar, please do. It's not a loan, it's a gift. I could either buy a decent guitar with it or I can pay for my pe um, tent pitch. She really is amazing, yeah. She's amazing. She uh, She's incredible. Um, I was completely blown away by it. I actually, I actually got the notification at about two o'clock this morning. I was there like half asleep. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. What? <laughs> um, I can't afford to stay in a, uh, in a hotel or even in the student halls. They're way too expensive. And I know that, um, I know that Voltmog, Volti is going to be really grumpy with me about it, but I, I just, I'm going to have to be in a, um, in a tent. So we'll see. It's looking like I'm probably gonna have to go and stay in a tent. And then maybe I'll treat myself to one night in a hostel or something. There's no way I can afford to stay at a hotel. There is not a chance. No way. Uh, well, Mark said, yeah, don't, don't worry, Vulti, I'm, I'm going in a tent. I'm gonna be in a tent. I'm, do I'm doing fringe in a tent. Um, which will be expensive enough. <laughs> so yes, I know I'm I'm well I'm well aware is if I can't afford it it'll scupper everything. Um, I just I really really want to do it and I will try and find ways of raising the money. <laughs> no, not innocent activity. Hello, absolute crime party. Hundred percent page one crime party, is it? But this is it. Just I I don't I I hate being accused of being a of begging because that is the last thing I've ever ever wanted to do and I've, I, to my knowledge I've never done it but even anything slightly like it I just like ho it's horrible like I say I really need more time off but I just I just can't so I'm just gonna have to be gentle as I can be for as long as I can be and then maybe take another week off or at least a few days off next week, maybe. Um, okay guys. Well, oh god. Um, well night night and have a nice time. And do not eat too much ice cream. 